Caravan Salon 2019. This is the Heimer B704 SL. And on the window we can see that it says you can self-sufficiency thanks to more than one sorry more than 300 ampere hours of battery capacity. This vehicle is over 135,000 euros. Well over 135 and a half over. And uh, so base price there. 99,000. It's got so therefore it's got what 36, 37,000 of extras here. There's your extras list. I'll just tell you the first couple actually. It's got leather, the Tortona leather uh, combination. It's got a Fiat uh, uh, engine upgrade. It's got a nine, the new nine speed Fiat uh, automatic gearbox. And there's, and there's all the rest of them. I won't read the whole lot out. Length. 779 width 235 internal uh, external height 296 internal height 198 weight ready to go 3390 so it gives you more than 1110 uh, kilos it does get exactly 1110 kilos of payload and uh, it's on a four and a half ton basis um, you could in theory but I wouldn't recommend it. You could put this on a three and a half ton basis because that's ready to go. So it includes the driver, a uh, bit of water, a bit of fuel. Um, but just to make the point, look how big it is. And it weighs, the empty weight is somewhere in the region just up 3,100, something along those, those lines. Quite, uh, quite an achievement. So uh, that's thanks to lightweighting technologies. Uh, also, I need to mention the, uh, the chassis system where everything has been moved below. Uh, the vehicle has been raised in that way. It allows a greater standing height. Uh, does mean a little bit of a step to get up. And a very deep double floor. I'll have a look at that now. I'll actually do that immediately. Batteries in there. There we go. So the what you need for self-sufficiency batteries. That's the first thing. Actually, just but often many cases the only thing people think about. But I would actually advise two other things as well to think about. One is water carrying capacity. Of course, you can carry extra water around uh, with you. In other in other tanks, and the second one is sewage. So, but you know, we've got a cassette, a toilet. You know, be easy you buy a second cassette, and uh, not particularly expensive. This range was introduced in April 2019 Stuttgart, and. Uh, it is available for purchase. You can order one today, or whatever today is when you're actually uh, watching this film, and you'll have to wait between six and nine months for delivery, probably. Now, integrated motorhome, one thing is when you drive it, uh, I feel. Uh, I personally feel a little bit difficult with uh, get, getting the position right, particularly when you go through the, the traffic um, works on the motorway where the road has suddenly got a lot thinner and uh, 235 centimetres uh, in, uh, in width. So, uh, door on the driver's side, obviously not on the passenger side, but this sideboard that sort of continues, but it doesn't continue all the way back. and. Maybe you might think, well, maybe they should have kept the same colour uh, uh, continuously to the back. So this, this wooden uh, sideboard bit, oh, it's not wood, no, there's no wood in the van, but uh, I'm using that as a laminate, um, I'm using that, wood as the word, uh, should have actually continued in the same way. That's just a, a detail on um, interior design, of which I know nothing. There you have the 9-speed Fiat 
gearbox recently introduced. I'll have to see if I can get an interview with the boss of Fiat uh, camper van section. Uh, whilst he's here, Roberto, I'll do a, a chat about that. Okay, uh, bed up the top here. Personally, I wouldn't bother because it'll bang my head every time I get up the seat. But uh, one thing you can do if you're in that bed, you can watch the television, which is here. Comes out of this thing here, pops up. These things, for these headrests, there's a special place to put them uh, so that they can be stored whilst uh, the van is at a site or there's not people actually sitting in the back who may want them. Good idea getting rid of uh, these these things which you know, may not actually be in use. I'm sure the cooks will appreciate such an enormous kitchen. Um, the, the range there, look, you can get these enormous pots on there. Uh, maybe there's not a lot, huge amount of spe chopping space, but you've got a great table on there. You've got a deep sink with an overflow. You've got a drainage place for your uh, once you've washed the dishes. That's been put there for a reason, it's to stop people messing around, so I'm not going to actually take it off and take you into the shower. Or should I? Yes, I will. <laughs> anyway, I lied. Separate shower. Uh, it, it's... Um, a rain shower, I believe. I hope that um, washing uh, that, that bar doesn't get in your way when you're actually showering. I'm sure there's a way of uh, moving it. No, no, I see it comes out. So you can remove that when you're in the shower. You probably want to take your uh, drying clothes off when you've got the shower on anyway. Alternative, if you've got no water in the van, what you do is just open it up there when it's raining and you can have a shower like that. Second television here. Got steps up to the bed. Ooh, that's handy. You've got a bag there. Great place for your um, your, your um, dirty washing. And there's access to your tank, cold water tank. Always useful. Always useful to have something like that there. light in there, I can't see it. And that's for the bit that comes forward. To make a double bed. And there's the cushion that goes in there to make the double bed. Right, if you want to get in bed up here, and watch the television, which is there. Room divider, which is wood, it's not wood, it's laminate or whatever, I just call it wood. Uh, I personally would prefer the, um, the cloth one.
comes across as well. Alright, so we're sort of locked in here, so to speak, or shut in. Uh, down there on the floor, you can see there's, there is a gap. What do you think? Cloth? Or, or wood? You've got to close the thing here when you move. Um, I've been driving in vans in the past. Uh, uh, integrated vans and you hear this banging and then, then you, you stop and you can't find what it is and um, it was it was that I didn't realize that though until I actually got to my destination There's a um, oven above the, the fridge. Bin in the door. There's also one in that drawer. <clears throat> yeah, look at the bin. Now with the bicycle in here, oops, oh sorry, hit the, that wasn't the gimbal, that was me hitting it. Um, you get a good example of how much space there is. Isn't that fantastic? Look at that. You put 350 kilos in here. Again, thanks to the Alco uh, chassis. Outstanding. Mind you, the prices, even the base price, hundred thousand, uh, quite a lot of money. Many places you can buy a house with that kind of money. <laughs> many, many places. Right. Okay. I really like that van, but I prefer this one here. Uh, so that's B seven hundred. This is the seven hundred and eight. I'm not going to finish, film it now because I've filmed it before. But uh, you can see that in another film. Of the two, if somebody said to me, uh, you can have one of these vans, which one do you have? I have the 708. Personally, I'm not so keen on that, that type of uh, the, the double joinable beds, but that's, that's me, and I don't need an extra long uh, bed because I'm not particularly tall. I'm sort of average height. I'm in fact, I'm exactly average height for a European male. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you found that useful, uh, you might want to sponsor me on um, Patreon, there's a link above. Uh, my website motorhomefulltime.com, there is more details about this van on there, so you might want to have a look at that. And uh, if, you're not already, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you.